Bueno. Hey, what's up, everyone? Welcome to another episode of Benji Performance. Okay, so it's most likely it could be a little short one, but I um, just want to show you real quick what I'm working with. Boom. It's my Integra. Another one in the fleet. And I'm trying to make the fenders right here look a lot cooler because I'm not really feeling this thing right here but um uh, oh this is real carbon fiber but this is what I'm gonna be doing now let me show you real quick give me a second boom all right already opened the box just gotta make sure that this thing came from all the way Russia mother Russia before all this shit start happening over there on that side of the road but if you can see and recognize what is this this is like a bit more there we go this is, this is our defender cuts boom so I'm gonna be installing this guys and uh, in order to install this guy I have to cut that fender right here somewhere put a somewhere right here like that so I don't know somewhere on this side right here I will have to cut this fender First, I had to remove the fender and then put this first. And then with this, I'll run the line and where exactly I'm going to start cutting. And uh, it's going to look like it's going to be fun. I always like to say, oh, say, oh it's going to be real quick. So good. I got this. But I'm not going to say, well, I'm not going to jinx myself. So. So, I couldn't record last night because it got dark too quick. And, um, yeah, it started raining too at the same time. But let me show you real quick how everything came out. Let me show you. Let me show you. Look at, look at, look at. Ah, uh, look at that. Ah, uh, look at that thing. I don't know. I like it. I don't know about you, but I know about me, and I like it. But leave a comment over there and tell me what's your thoughts about this thing. Yeah, it looks real good. I like it. I like it very much. And I got to save this fender. I think I got to save this fender because this fender comes with those entries, and uh, I really didn't like it very much. But hey, this fender was given to me for free when I bought this car oh yeah by the way I bought this car as a shell for $750 yeah $750 
and um, the plan was keeping this car for a little bit put the motor because that's a, what was the problem had a blow motor and um, then flip it here we are four years later working on the flipping <laughs> you know what I mean anyway so and since you know what so we're talking about the car let me show you around a little bit it's not a fancy nothing from the other world but I would like to show you some of the upgrades that I did starting with the torque mount I don't know if you see it right there there we go a nice solid one yeah your nose freaking vibrates while this car is on that's how freaking tied up that this engine is and then you look inside there yeah you see the true hearts control arms with the thing um high-tech spring the the gold ones that honestly i thought it was gonna be a lot lower than that i should have just go for the s type one see if we was if i knew it was gonna be this high i mean it's not that high it was a lot higher well i think i can close this gap a little more let me see i got like two fingers yeah like a drop another inch would have been a lot more awesome but it's okay at the long run i will upgrade this car with koi lovers i don't know maybe bc racing maybe another the same has the control arm the upper control arms through hearts who knows whatever is on the boy at that moment so and then of course i did the uh, let me show you i did the uh, whole entire conforms um the plate for the frame right there with the tie bar it was pretty cool especially when you see this car when you're driving on the back of it it looks so freaking nice and then the whole apex sauce I did the whole full sauce all the way now this car when I bought it from this guy he was having a less swap on it I don't know why but this car is an actual GSR but he have, he put a, a B28 right yeah the American one anyway so I end up buying let me show you oh yeah hey, hey don't judge me I know those freaking seats are freaking clapped out I know but I'm looking to change all this entire interior I really don't like this interior this color I know everybody changes to black but black is the way it looks a lot better inside of this car in black but for now, I'm gonna be rocking this clap out seats right here. And I already took the interiors on the back out, so it's semi got out. I got the straw bar back there too. And I did a little extension in there because I'm gonna start to be reaching for the shifter. So now I got the shifter a little bit closer while put my body together to get the K2 shifter one the, the very cool one i love that freaking shifter i can't wait to put my hands on it that's what she said <laughs> michael, <laughs> michael. <laughs> michael please <laughs> but let me show you under the hood real quick let me see Bam. all right so all right one second. Okay. There we go. Yeah, yeah. I know the back cover is all messed up, but I don't care because I got different plans for this motor. And where I'm going, I'm not gonna need this this valve cover. And no, nah, I'm not doing a case swap. I want to keep this car on her roots, be serious, but it's going to be a bit different. Anyway, let me show you. So, 
1320 headers beautiful headers since I put this headers this car took a whole different like a whole different power band especially on top end it opens up harder on top end and then yeah the little radiator then I got the password intake old school you don't find this around anymore I was lucky to find out somebody on Facebook market close by my house and I bought it from him you know I gotta clean this engine it's kind of filthy in here but then I got the scone tool on um, pro series um, intake I have this um bar that's not a straw bar that's a reinforcement for the frame on the front that comes factory on the type R and I was able to put my hands on when I went to JDN Depot to get this engine because that's why I got this motor from JDN Depot and they gave me a freaking good ass price for this motor I couldn't believe it only like 35,000 miles no bad no bad at all so yeah, look at it right there B20B right there with the transmission if I believe it's an LS and I'm, I know it's an LS because the transmission the gears are kind of long and the GSR transmission is always short and this one is has some long gears and if I'm not mistaken yeah LS transmissions are the one with the longer gearing and this is the car anyway look at that real nice I did fix the headlights I have to buy this one this one was on a budget see with the with the angel eye yeah yeah I would like to get the factory ones but come on people are trying to rip people off with this factory headlights like I don't get it but for now then it looks fresh on the front but fresh headlights then let me see can you see it on here the head is coming up oh yeah that's the good thing about having the short in um radiator you're able to appreciate those heads coming at you but of course since i live on the east side you already know how this bad weather stuff the bad weather gets to it and it's gonna start rusting away so the good thing this car sleep on the garage all day and doesn't get this bad weather oh yeah guys it's my integral right there and yeah what happened rico huh? yeah it's my boy huh? what's up so and um I feel like I never show this car in the channel. Well, actually, I did, and I say that I was going to work on, but I never did. So, um, I did it. Oh, by the way, yes, I did change the wheels, too. Change the wheels right there. I'm going to pull it. Let me get closer. Boom. Change the wheels, too, because I'm like, okay, I'm doing the fender, so I should do the wheels, too. Instead of be working the factories on um, um, Integra wheels. Now, these wheels was plastic dipped in black. They actually gold. I don't know. I'm wondering how how the car will look with the gold wheels. I don't know. But anyway, I'm digging it right now. The way it looks, it looks great. But yeah, talking a little bit too much in here. So this is it for now. And um, I might end the video with a nice walk around the car. And then I'm going to see you guys on the next one. All right. So stay safe. Remember to like, subscribe, and share. And leave a comment somewhere in there. All right. So I'll see you guys later. Deuces.